May 1997, at least six tornadoes spun out of the massive line of thunderstorms that marched across Texas from Waco to Austin. It was one of the worst tornado strikes this century. Rescue services were on the scene within moments, but for some it was too late. The storm killed 27 people. Hardest hit was Gerald, a town of less than 1,000 residents. This ugly brown scar is the tornado's path. The storm's vacuum was so powerful, it tore six inches of topsoil from the ground. It cut a swath of destruction five miles long and a half a mile wide. This one really is the most devastating that I've ever seen. I've never seen anything that just clean grass right off the ground and not leave a blade. Winds twisted the head off this stop sign. They stripped the leaves off trees. In one neighborhood, at least 50 homes were swept away completely. Only the concrete slabs and driveways were left behind. Normally you'll have a lot of debris and some buildings still partially standing, but this one is just, just like a big broom swept through. The debris settled several miles away. The winds turned over 50,000 pound garbage trucks. Cars and trucks were picked up and crushed to half their normal size. The storm was classified as an F5, the most destructive. Wind speeds reached 260 miles an hour. Its path cut directly through this grocery store. The winds collapsed the roof on shoppers hiding inside. The building was so unstable, rescuers could not lift the wreckage. They cut holes in the roof and lowered in cameras and listening devices to look for survivors. Eight people were missing or injured. In Gerald, the twister appeared as a single funnel. Suddenly, three small funnels combined into this massive tornado. It was a half a mile wide and stayed on the ground for almost 30 minutes. The average tornado stays less than three. I'm with the propane company. Tanks flying everywhere. This is what kind of damage that came from over there somewhere. This tank weighs 900 pounds. The storm also sucked up livestock and sent them crashing to the ground. The cattle's lungs were pulled out by the force of the winds. There's a guy over there on top of the hill. He took his cows and sheep and goats. Just he took the hide rifle right off. Him. Just took the leather right off. Pretty bad. Yanked the yanked the scalps right off the people too. One meteorologist stated the storm was too large to outrun and too strong to survive. Anybody was in the way, tore them apart. Just yanked them. Many people standing on their front porch just took them right off their front porch. You know. The human toll was appalling. Most victims were children home from school on summer break. I never thought that anything like this could happen and then it happens to people we know. It's crazy. A tornado kills with its twisting winds, but mercifully, it can only affect a small area.